Bandits who abducted some school girls from the Federal Girls College, Yawuri Kebi State, have told parents that they have married off their daughters. Some of the parents who raised alarm on Sunday told Daily Trust that the abductors sent to them footages showing that their daughters were already married. Recall that bandits on June 16 invaded the school premises and whisked scores of students to an unknown destination. A police officer was also killed during the incident. Efforts by Daily Post to reach the school management for confirmation of the development proved abortive as at press time. Meanwhile, one of the parents who spoke with the BBC Hausa said the kidnappers always informed them that their daughters are doing well. He added that sometimes they call and give us our daughters and give our daughters to talk to us. If your child has your number, then they will call and talk to you. But I have never spoken with my daughter since the time they were abducted. This is a very, very saddening situation, if you ask me. And um, it is unfortunate. It is really, really unbelievable, if you'd ask me. How could bandits marry off daughters of uh, people just like that and the government has not done anything since june what since june 16 when these girls have been abducted according to this report up until now they've not been rescued since on the 16th of june it's going to be one month now or very soon and nothing has been done this is really really unfortunate honestly speaking i start oh no 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 and they've not been able to go uh, go uh, and arrest these bandits. They've not been able to go and pick up these guys. But they are. Uh, they have been working against uh, uh, people from the south southern part of the country. They've been on the trail of Namdekano and they've been on the hills of uh, Sunday Buho in the southwestern part of the country. It tells you that this is misplaced priority. It tells you that the government is not intentional about addressing the challenges, the problems of the country. It tells you that the uh, government of the day is not interested in you know, solving the problems, the mirrors of problems that is facing the country. Imagine the sorrow, the agony, the pain that the parents of these girls will be going through. How could this have been allowed to happen? If they could, you know, go to Ibuho's house arrest, uh, and arrest people at midnight, then what happens to the bandits? Don't they know where the bandits are? Is that what they want to tell us? Is that the claims that they don't know where the bandits are? Of course, that cannot be, that, that cannot be, be tenable. They should, they know the bandits. What happens to Sheikh Gumir? Who has been meeting with the bandits? It tells you that they are not interested in ending the maintenance in the northern part of the country. And they do not even consider the maintenance that, uh, that is happening in the northern part of the country as even a challenge or an issue. But it is the agitators in the southern part of the country that they are concentrated on. And that is what you see is happening. It's, it is unfortunate. It is really, really sad. It is sad. Man. Imagine abducting children who were sent to school and they've been in captivity going close to a month right now and the abductors are saying that they have married these children off. The question is to who? Look at the cheap of girls. Look at the dark cheap girls. 
and so many others. The question is, what is the government of Nigeria doing? Insurgency in Nigeria has now been over 10 years in existence. And yet the Nigerian government has not been able to quell the issue of insurgency. Does it make sense in any way? Absolutely, it doesn't. It doesn't. Is there any excuse tenable? Of course, no. There is no excuse that is tenable. So what are we saying? What are we saying? What does the government want Nigerians to believe and accept? That the government is doing all it can, despite promises, despite election campaign and all what have you? Of course they are not doing anything, because if they are doing something, there will have been results, but they are not doing anything. How can government just go to bed and sleep when other people's children are in captivity? But since their own children are traveling abroad, this is really, really unfortunate. How can the bandits marry off people's children, people's daughters? What kind of religion is that? What kind of belief is that? You forcefully marry off people's children, daughters, to strangers out of their own will and volition? Honestly speaking, something is wrong somewhere. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but this is uncalled for. This is wickedness in high species. Well, guys, it is sad and unfortunate. You know, we can continue to, you know, um, express shock, discomfort, dissatisfaction, but the truth means that we do not have the capacity to help them. It is only the government that can. But from the look of things, the government does not seem to be ready to help or does not seem to have what it takes. Would this be the end of these girls? Would this be the end of what it, of, of their, their parents seeing their children? Well, drop by in the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.